A central African lyre made from a human skull, antelope horns, skin, gut, and hair. In 2009, a 28-year-old man from Russia called Artyom Sidorkin went to the doctor after he started to cough up blood large amounts of blood. The doctors thought that he had cancer, and shortly after his diagnosis, surgeons operated on Artyom to remove the suspected tumor. Upon removing the cancerous growth, the doctors discovered it was actually a 5 centimeters fir tree that had been growing inside of him. It's believed the coughing of blood was caused by the tiny pine needles, piercing his blood capillaries. Bobby Jo Stinnett was an American 23-year-old pregnant woman who was murdered in Skidmore, Missouri in December 2004. The perpetrator, Lisa Marie Montgomery, then aged 36 years old, strangled Stinnett to death and cut her fetus, eight months into gestation, from her womb. In 2004, Lisa Montgomery faked a pregnancy. To avoid being exposed, she murdered Bobby Joe Stinnett so that she could claim the child as her own. Montgomery was arrested on December 17, and she confessed and she was sentenced to death. Montgomery was executed by lethal injection on January 13, 2021. Photograph of French serial killer Charles the Serpent Sobri on a flight home in 2022 after being released from a jail in Nepal. Sobridge is believed to have murdered at least 20 tourists in South and Southeast Asia, with 14 of the victims in Thailand alone. He served a prison sentence in India from 1976 to 1997 before returning to France upon release. In 2003, Sobridge traveled to Nepal, where he was arrested, tried, and ultimately sentenced to life imprisonment. On December 21, 2022, the Supreme Court of Nepal ordered his release from prison due to his advanced age, after he had served 19 years of his sentence. In 2016, a wanted criminal called Donald Chip Pugh sent the police a selfie after he saw his mugshot on the news and didn't like how he looked in the picture. In 2019, Minnesota police responded to noise complaints after 58-year-old Dwayne Johnson threw a meth-fueled death party for his ailing wife. They found her corpse wrapped in the sheet at the top of the stairs surrounded by 47 guns. Deborah Lynn Johnson's final wishes included rocking out to Quiet Riot's metal health, smoking meth, and having sex with her 58-year-old husband Dwayne. Dwayne told deputies that Deborah begged him to take her out of her nursing home to let her die at home. He said they spent the last several days of her life ingesting meth. He was found guilty of criminal neglect and ordered serve 19 months in prison, then served the rest of his sentence on supervised release. This is the chilling moment that a laser pointer is shown on Elijah Clayton at a Florida eSports event in 2018. Moments later he was shot and killed. Taylor Robertson was also shot and killed. Shortly after, David Katz killed himself. Eleven people were also injured following the incident at the Jacksonville Landing Shopping Complex in August 2018. On January 26, 2011, during a blizzard in Philadelphia, Ellen Greenberg decided to leave her workplace and return to her apartment in Maniunk. Around 6.40 p.m. that same evening, Ellen tragically succumbed to 20 stab wounds, including 10 inflicted on her back and neck. Additionally, she had 11 bruises at various stages of healing on her right arm, abdomen, and right leg. Despite these concerning circumstances, the Philadelphia Police Department initially classified her death as a suicide. The Philadelphia Police Department did acknowledge that there were suspicions surrounding Ellen Greenberg's death, with homicide investigators considering it a suspicious case. Nevertheless, the case was officially closed as a suicide. One of the last pictures of 12-year-old Emma Brown and her father, 38-year-old Daniel Brown. On the same day after the picture was taken, Emma shot her father in the abdomen before shooting herself in the head. Daniel survived, but Emma died two days later in the hospital. Emma had plotted to kill her entire family and pets in a murder pact with a friend. Hematidrosis is an exceedingly rare condition where patients sweat blood. The condition commonly occurs when an individual is experiencing extreme stress. Under intense stress, blood vessels surrounding the sweat glands constrict, then dilate upon relaxation, leading to ruptures. As sweat glands produce sweat, blood is pushed to the surface, resulting in droplets of blood mixed with sweat. The images show a Vietnamese girl who began to sweat blood while preparing for her exams.
In 1973, two men went to the police, claiming to have been abducted by aliens. The police thought they were lying, so they left the men alone in the room with a secret recording device. To their surprise, they continued taking about what happened and how terrified they were. On the evening of October 11, 1973, Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker told the Jackson County, Mississippi Sheriff's Office they were fishing off a pier on the west bank of the Pascagoula River in Mississippi when they heard a whirring slash whizzing sound. They saw two flashing blue lights and observed an oval-shaped object 30 to 40 feet across and 8 to 10 feet high. Parker and Hickson claimed they were conscious but paralyzed while three creatures with robotic slit mouths and crab-like pincers took them aboard the object and subjected them to an examination. One of the final photos of talented wing walker Jane Wicker. She was one of the industry's leading stars before her death in 2013. She and her pilot Charlie Schwenker were performing for thousands of people at the Vectron Dayton Air Show before the there crashed in a fiery explosion killing both Wing Walker and Ryder. The maneuver leading to the crash involved the plane ascending into a loop, so that Wicker was sitting on the wing of the upside-down plane. For unknown reasons, the wing upon which Wicker was sat banked sharply to the ground, and the plane hit the ground shortly after. Throughout the course of live theater, there have been a number of cases of actors accidentally taking their own lives during scenes. In 2016, actor Raphael Schumacher tragically hung himself while reenacting a hanging scene on stage. The stunt left him in a coma, and shortly afterward, doctors declared him clinically deceased. Luciano Ricciacconi, a 28-year-old professional footballer for SS Lazio and the Italy national football team, met a tragic end on January 18, 1977. Renowned for his sense of humor, Ricciacconi engaged in a practical joke that ended in disaster. He faked a robbery at a friend's jewelry shop in Rome. Walking into the Rome jewelry shop, he exclaimed, Stop! This is a robbery. Unfortunately, the shop owner, unaware of the jest, shot Ricciacconi in the chest as he attempted to clarify the prank, resulting in his untimely demise. In February 2024, 26-year-old Mariah Thomas allegedly placed her newborn baby inside an oven. Mariah described the infant's death as a mistake explaining that she believed she had placed the one-month-old in her crib for a nap. However, she later realized that she had unintentionally placed her in the oven instead. Mariah then called 911 and reported a non-breathing infant in her care. Emergency responders arrived to find the one-month-old baby, named Zariah, with burn wounds and wearing melted clothing. Tragically, she was declared dead at the scene. Mariah was arrested and charged with endangerment of a child, resulting in death. Following her arrest, a close friend told the news that, Mariah has been dealing with mental illnesses since a child. On February 9, 2024, Mishenka Reed, a 17-year-old girl from Reno, Nevada, was taken into custody following her 911 call reporting a disturbing crime. Mishenka Reed reportedly told the dispatcher, I couldn't control the urge to kill somebody. I shot my dad. I shot my brother. My brother is dead. Upon reaching the scene, law enforcement discovered a male juvenile, around four or five years old, on a couch in the living room. Reed's father was located in the garage, with gunshot wounds, to his chest and back. Mashenka Reed faces two charges of open murder and one count of attempted murder. Apart from the murders of her father and brother, she is accused of attempting to access a locked bedroom to harm her younger sister. She is currently detained in Washoe County Jail, facing charges as an adult. In August 2023, Michael Zanira saw a crucifix while welding train tracks at work. He thought it was weird so he recorded it and posted the video online. Less than 24 hours later, he passed away after being hit by a train. The incredibly brutal molten gold death scene portrayed in Game of Thrones was actually inspired by a real method of execution employed on high-ranking prisoners. The most notable alleged victims of this gruesome execution method include Marcus Licinius Crassus, an immensely wealthy Roman general, and Roman Emperor Valerian the Elder. In 2015, a four-year-old girl from Colorado, called Naomi was at the park with her family. She wandered off and walked over a frozen pond and fell through. This image shows her footsteps as she walked towards the lake. 
Unfortunately, she didn't survive and her cause of death was determined to be drowning and hypothermia.